What's going on, everybody? Well, that eBay authentication service got another person out there. I got an email on this. I'm going to share some pictures with you. This is a 101 that was ruined through that service. Now, as we've talked previously, probably maybe two months ago in a video when they first announced this, there was a lot of issues with this stuff. Things weren't sitting right. There's uh, damages to the card. Cards were swapped out from the original picture. It's as if their authentication service is just there to say, oh, yeah, it's a card. We're good. That's it. It's a shame. It really is that, you know, this service is being provided. Don't know how it's getting paid for. I'm guessing from the recent upcharge before that on the sales. But th I, this, this is one reason why I stopped buying raw cards on eBay. I will not buy it. Because if it goes through the service, I have a very, I have a big enough percentage to where I've seen them getting damaged and messed up that I don't want to take it. So this is a Garbage Pal Kid card. It's a 101. And when he got it in, you know, it was completely damaged. It was bad. Let me pull up the pictures onto this. And his fear is mostly what is eBay going to do? They can't replace this card. Hopefully he gets his money back. I mean, at least that, but you ruined a 101. Uh, this window. So he sent me some pictures of what the, the outer line this case looked like. It's right here, here. You can see the divot up in here onto it. And that this is the fourth picture onto it. Um, it's crazy that this stuff's happening out there. I would be very wary if you're buying anything raw that you have that possibility it's going to get damaged. I mean, this guy here had sold this card to the person that emailed me. It might have been in flawless condition. He might have had it in a one touch and everything, prepared perfectly for shipping. It reaches eBay's authentication system that they've subleased out, I believe it's CSG, and somehow it gets damaged. It comes back. Now, I don't know their whole thing with it, but you have some people that's supposed to be looking at this stuff to ensure description. All that stuff matches up. I think we're just checking the blocks, eBay. You really, eBay really needs to take a hard look at this stuff. And you're they're making so much money off the sports card industry compared to other categories out there that are collectibles. It's not even funny. But yet... This is the kind of service that we keep getting from them. And it's not like this, oh, one here, one there. I at least could think of 10, 12, maybe 15 or 20 different ones out there that have been damaged. That's a high amount because when you go through the listings, not every one of them have that eBay authentication guarantee onto it. That's still a lot, and... You know, the stress that causes a customer and the seller both, it should not even be happening. The seller, if he does everything right, packages it right, doesn't do a bait and switch or nothing like that, gets to that authentication and something happens to that card, right then and there, eBay should be like, hey, we messed your card up. Seller gets his money. We're refunding your money. We're terribly sorry about it. Give both of them something a little extra on top because you're messed up. I'm not saying give them cash. Give them $200 eBay gift cards or something, you know, depending on, on the price onto it. Because this stuff's supposed to be for high-end raw singles, which eventually they're supposed to be moving to graded cards according to that little conference thing that they had going on. I mean, I don't see how they're that there's just going to be like, oh, yeah, it's good. Throw it in this case. Yep, good, good. It reads right, yep. It's a shame. It really, really is. But I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention that, you know, there's still more going on with this stuff. I don't post a lot of it because a lot of it, I either get hit with a link to it or something. But it, it's I wanted to keep bringing this up so that if you're going to buy raw on eBay and it has this little authentication, certification, blah, blah, blah thing on there. You have a good chance that it could come back damaged from what I've seen. I've seen a few, in some cases, they get their stuff back and it's perfectly fine. 
But after their initial process of this, whenever the dudes at eBay and dudettes out there, I guess, too, were all talking about this in a video, they were trying to find better ways to package this stuff. It's really not happening yet. If you can't perform at that level, stop this service until you can get it right. Have somebody that's dealt with cards for decades come in and look at this, be like, and it knows how to package stuff, review it, you know, and be like, listen, we're not doing a good job here. We need the right people in here. If you're paying minimum wage people to do this stuff, do you think they're going to care about your cards that are collectors? Probably not. All right, guys. Again, thank you for watching the videos. I'm going to have some uh, different videos coming out in the next month or two. They'll all revolve around sports cards, but I'm going to broaden some stuff out there. Um, just some different ideas I'm going to do. See how everything goes with it and everything like that. But, guys, have a good rest of the week. Um, overtime Friday night. Saturday, I'll be in Richmond at a card show. If you're there, say hello. Richmond, Virginia. Or Richmond, Virginia. Woo! Richmond, Kentucky. Uh, Whatnot will be live Saturday night. Slab sale. Uh, I probably won't schedule this. It'll be, it won't show scheduled stream probably till Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame. But whenever I do it and get everything loaded up in there, I'll do the preview video as always. Um, trying to think here. I think that's pretty much it. It's a little bit of a busier week for me this week. Uh, I, I think I put out one of the other videos too. So uh, if you try to get in touch with me and I don't reply right back, if it's like 24 hours plus, just hit me up again because I may have forgotten about it. I may have skimmed around stuff. But I will get back to you. But sometimes I might need that little nudge on some busy weeks out there too. Be like, hey, I just want to make sure my email went to you and not to spam. Or, hey, did you get this message? And I'll, I'll be like, I'll be flat out honest. Be like, oh, man, I'm sorry. I thought I got back to you and I didn't because I was skipping between messages a lot of times. But all right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. See you all later.